Hello, and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today we will be going through the process of updating our R8 Model 3 GNSS firmware using our TSC7 Trimble Data Controller. To do the upgrade, you'll need a few things. Uh, obviously your R8 uh, receiver. Uh, in this process, I did use my TSC7. Uh, you could use your PC, uh, a T7, or your T10 tablet. Uh, and I did use a 9-pin to 9-pin cable as well. Uh, I did not use the 9-pin uh, to USB adapter. However, if you are using your PC or uh, a T7 or a T10, uh, you will need this. Uh, but for this process, I did just use the TSC7 uh, to my R8, uh, just utilizing uh, the 9-pin uh, to 9-pin uh, cable. The next thing you'll need here uh, will be a, a confirmation letter. Uh, you could probably get this in the form of, a, of an email. Uh, this just shows the uh, Trimble product number, uh, a password, uh, which we will need to do the upgrade. Um, the type of uh, firmware, uh, here it was the uh, former maintenance for the GNSS receiver. Uh, it will show your serial number uh, and then a commencement date and an expiration date uh, for your firmware purchase. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll just verify uh, what firmware version we currently have on our receiver. An easy way to do this would just be to open up Access and open up a job. Uh, it doesn't matter which job it is. Uh, just open one up and make sure your receiver is on. Um, so on the top here, we can see our R8 symbol uh, logo there is solid. Uh, just showing that we do have that Bluetooth connection. Uh, just hit our menu button, uh, instrument, and receiver settings. And here we can see our you know, receiver type, serial number, and then verify our 5.22 firmware version. Um, just a quick, easy way to verify that. So now I don't need that any longer. I can just close down access, and we will go to Google uh, here to uh, download our firmware. So just open up any web browser. Uh, I've opened up Chrome, and I'll just search for Trimble RA firmware. Uh, this Trimble DocuShare link brings us to where the firmware downloads can be found really easily. Um, on the second hit there, you see that Trimble.com, Trimble Support, Support A to Z is another location uh, where you can find these downloads. So I'll just open that up here. And as you can see, we have uh, all of our uh, firmware versions. Uh, being that we want the latest and greatest right now, we will select Trimble 5.45 at the top. And it'll take a second here to download. Uh, and when it's done, I will just hit this up chevron and click on open uh, when done. And this will start the downloading process. So we will just uh, give it a second to download here. Uh, you might get a, an error message like this one. Uh, just to bypass this, uh, just click on the more info. And on the bottom, you can run anyway. Uh, I do get this error when I use my, my TSC7. Um, so this will just get us to the uh, installation wizard. Just run through the, the process here, uh, just click next. Gives you a, a license agreement. If you wanna accept that, you can click on yes. Uh, gives you a default destination folder. Uh, again, click next. And then your program folder. Uh, a lot of these are just defaults. Uh, so just click next. And then when it's done, uh, you have some options to do a registration. I just choose register later. Uh, that's something I don't need. I can hit next and then uh, finish. Once we have that done, we can uh, just close out of our web page here. And on the bottom left, just click on your uh, Windows Start button. Uh, under Recently Added at the top, you can see we do have a WinFlash option to select now. So we'll select that. In our device configuration, uh, just make sure that your Trimble Survey Integrated Receiver option is highlighted. And again, uh, the PC serial port for COM1 is that 9-pin to 9-pin cable I'm using. Uh, if you're using the USB adapter, just use the pull-down and select that PC port. Uh, once in our operation selection then, uh, what we're looking for is to uh, update a receiver option. Click next on that. And in the uh, format, just click over to legacy password. And in here, uh, enter that 19 digit code uh, from that document that I'd shown you guys earlier. Uh, just FYI, uh, this password I'm typing in here is specific to this uh, receiver. Uh, so if you're just watching the video and uh, type in this password, it, it won't work for you. So uh, just an FYI, I'll get this typed up in here. And then once this is done, uh, we'll just have to uh, click Next. Uh, 
uh, then finish. When we get to this, uh, you can just uh, confirm your password. And so it'll just take a little bit of time to, to update here. And in, in essence, what we're doing is we are just updating our uh, firmware expiration date. We're not loading our firmware yet. We are just changing that expiration date so that we can then uh, download uh, our new firmware and install that. Okay, so that option upgrade was successful. I'm going to want to hit menu to get back into our uh, selection uh, operation here. And what we're going to want to find now is the uh, low GPS software, uh, which is basically just the firmware upgrade. Uh, and then click next at the bottom. And then depending on what uh, receiver you have, you know, R6, R8, Model 3, uh, Model 2. Uh, but for this process that we're doing today, uh, R8 Model 3 with the 5.45 firmware is what I had. Just a quick review, uh, hit finish, and I'll start going through some of these updates. Uh, one thing to note, if you do have any uh, static files, any TO2 files on your, um, all right, you're going to want to make sure you get those off of here before you do the, the uh, firmware upgrade. See, I get an error here. Uh, make sure your uh, receiver is, is clean of any data um, before you do any of this uh, workflow. Uh, so we'll just kind of work through this. Uh, again, uh, now we're getting to the status bar update of everything. And then there is also a uh, monitor uh, that needs to be installed, uh, at least on my TSC7 anyway. So we'll just click yes to continue through this. And then uh, our download process is started. And uh, uh, this takes roughly you know 20 minutes, uh, depending on your uh, PC, you know, TSC7, uh, whatever you're using. So I'll just uh, fast forward through uh, this portion of it. All right, so that is done, and it looks like it was done successfully. Uh, now we can click on exit to just uh, exit out of WinFlash, uh, and then just yes to terminate it. So now let's just go ahead and open up uh, Access, uh, well, just to verify that the uh, firmware update did uh, go through. Uh, so it's again, just open up any project, uh, doesn't matter. We have good uh, Bluetooth connection at the top. Again, hit our menu button, uh, instrument, and receiver settings. And now our firmware version is listed at the 5.45. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and hope to see you next time. Thanks.